All right, today we're going to do an interesting test. We've got uh, King TV's new Boltzen LED Fresnel. This is their smaller portable 55 watt. We also have a 30 watt version over here, which is the exact same housing. The only difference is the 30 watt has a smaller chip, a little bit cheaper, and there is no fan on the 30 watt. And they run on Sony batteries or AC power or uh, like V-mount using the, the cable, the D-tap cable. Um, and the 55 watt has a fan, but uh, later in the video, you'll see that it's on and you probably won't even hear the fan. So it's barely audible, um, but it, because it's 55 watts in the same housing, they needed to dissipate the heat more, so they added a fan in here. And you'll get more power in the same small housing. Here we have Aperture's uh, 120T. I don't have the Fresnel lens for this. Um, but we will compare just kind of this bare light uh, compared to a lower wattage Fresnel lens. And so it'll be an interesting test. And what we're going to do is we're going to fire this down a tube. Now this is a six foot tube here. Um, so we've got a black tube. We're going to fire the light all the way down six feet away. I've got an LED uh, spectrometer in the, uh, at the end there. It's inside and I operate it through my iPhone because it's Bluetooth controlled. Um, it's the Ascensa Tech LED spectrometer, and we're going to fire it down this tube. Now, I, I wouldn't go and say this is a scientific test or anything, but we will be able to measure the luminance and the foot candles, kind of like how bright it is at six feet away. So we'll be able to do that test, and it's an interesting test. Um, so because we have a much more powerful light here, these are only 55 and 30. But because this has a Fresnel lens on here, you'll see how interesting that comparison can be because this can focus the light further out um, at a distance so interesting interesting and uh, anyways let's get started but before we do let's actually let's kick on the COB 120T we don't have the reflector on there but you'll see how much it lights up this room very bright now this camera is auto exposing a little bit but um, then I'm gonna kick on this uh, came TV light here you'll notice that even with the aperture light, we're still able to spot very, very bright light uh, overpowering the um, aperture. Now, again, we're not filling up the room. The aperture doesn't have a lens, so it's not focusing the light. But uh, this little 55 watt is fairly powerful. Let me see if I could go to flood mode. That's flood mode. And it's uh, not spreading as much as the aperture but the, but again that's because I still have a lens on here um, I could go bare and take the lens out and then it would spread all over the place um, and this has an optional Bowens mount that you could use as well so you can use soft boxes but you can see how powerful this light is even at a distance um, so let's shut this down all right anyways let's get started on our test and start firing these down the tube and see how much light gets down to the end there at six feet away and we'll do some measurements. Um, let's start with the aperture COB 120T. Down the tube. I'm going to just cover up the end of the tube here. Now that we have it set up over here, firing down the tube, let's measure this out. Let's see where we're at. 7,674 7, 7, lux. Look at that. 7,674, 712 foot candles. Let's just retest again. Yep, 7,900 lux. So we're almost at almost 8,000 lux. All right, so the best we got is about 7,000, almost 8,000. I mean 7,800. Almost 7,800 is the best we've got. and 729 foot candles 7800 lux okay yep 7800 lux so we've done a, a lot of tests we're getting kind of consistent results around 7800 around 730 foot candles so that's what we're getting out of the COB 120T um, let's go ahead and fire the came TV Fresnel down the the uh, tube here and then let's see what we get um, let's save this actually Let's save this as Aperture 120T. All right, <clears throat> so that's our test right there. Now let's go 
set up the Came TV one. Now, what I want to do is I want to set this to spot because that's what we're going to really use these for nails for. It's kind of spotting. We have the lens in here. We're going to throw this in. All right, so set it right over there. Turn this on. We're at 100%. All right. Here's where it gets interesting. Because we have a lens on here, we're throwing light, uh, kind of focusing light further out. Remember, we're six feet away. Let's, start, let's, let, let's give this time to warm up a little bit. And then we'll measure. Now look at this luminance here. 28,000 lux. 2,600 foot candles. Um, as opposed to the aperture, which was, uh, again, around 7,800 lux and 730 foot candles. 28,000 lux. Let's retest this again. What's going on? Yep. <clears throat> 28,000. So... Again, uh, you know, it's a, a little bit, it's an unfair test because the aperture doesn't have a Fresnel lens and they do offer that. But, you know, my point is that when you get a standard LED light or LED panel, it'll, it'll be bright. It'll be bright up close and, you know, maybe a few feet away from your subject. But the further away it is, those lights will kind of fall off. And so you have to get brighter lights in order to get, uh, you know, to illuminate your subject. Whereas if you had a light with a, a lens, a Fresnel lens, you can kind of use lower wattage and kind of focus that light a little bit further. Um, it's going to have different characteristics, obviously, but, you know, this is uh, just kind of an example of what this little light can do. It's very bright, focusing that lens. Let's go to uh, Flood. Let's see what happens when we go to Flood. Now we're going to lose a lot of output, obviously, but let's see how much output we've lost now. Twelve thousand nine hundred and twenty-six lux at flood. Thirteen thousand. Twelve thousand seven hundred. Yeah, so we're still very high. We're, you know, 12,800, almost 13,000 lux, 1,197 foot candles. Let's see. Whereas the, uh, the aperture light, again, um, we were seeing about 730 foot candles, I believe. Let's actually check our records again. Okay, so we we were at 7,800 lux and 730 foot candles. Our flood was still brighter than the aperture. And again, that has to do with the lens that's on here. You know, it, it's, a, it's a smaller light. It's a smaller wattage light. But that lens just adds so much more power at a distance. Um, not very scientific tests, but hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of, you know, how much power these little lights will have, especially with the lens attached. Um, obviously, the aperture is a much bigger, brighter light. Um, you know, uh, you can add all types of adapters like a lens. You can add a lens to this. Um, but, you know, the, the difference is portability. I wouldn't say one light would replace another light. Uh, I love both these lights. Um, this is great for, um, you know, when you need the power, but sometimes you're running around and all you need is this. You have this light and a Sony battery and you're shooting. You're ready to go.
Whereas this one, you would have to have this. You'd have to have this uh, battery pack here for your uh, V-mount. Um, and then there's a separate brick that goes to your AC. So there's a lot of equipment here. Whereas the uh, these lights here, it's about the size of your Canon 70 to 200 lens. Just like that. A lot of times you don't need a lot of power. Um, you just need to, you know, do some background lighting, some hair lighting, rim lighting, product lighting. Maybe you want to backlight a product or something. We do that a lot. I mean, this, these are great. It's all metal housing. You could take, you could take the lens off. You notice it's threaded here. There's a Bowens mount that you can attach to this. Um, there are barn doors here, so you could flag your light. And with the Bowens mount, you can add your other accessories, soft boxes, rings, grids, snoots. Really impressed with this light. If you guys have any questions about the uh, Kane TV Boltson LED light, the uh, Fresnel LED light here, let me know. Hit me up at the blog, cheesycam.com.